Coming to you once again from the Florida RV Super Show 2021. Hello, everybody. And a lot of you have asked that I check out the Intec Flyers. And there's the Intec Luna and the Intec Terra. So we're going to take a look at those. Let's start with this uh, little one here. This is like a, almost like a, like a teardrop. Well, I thought the camera was off for a second. And um, take a look at that. You could probably tow this with almost anything. This is a 21, 2021 Flyer Pursue. MSRP 17, you can have it for 16 here at the show. Not a big discount there, but it, again, this, these units are in high demand. Um, so the, 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 the interior is pretty open, so I guess you could, you could, you could configure this uh, as, as, as you would like, but you know, it's gonna be mostly bad. Let's face it, this is a small unit. There's a, a whole lot of storage there, and you have these nets here. You have an air conditioner, so you could camp in Florida in the summer. And, um, and the outdoor kitchen is a slide out here, outside kitchen. You have a Dometic, one of these Dometic uh, refrigerators and a two burner stove. And what is this? Oh, some storage out here. Because if you are in bare country, of course, you have to <coughs> keep everything inside. Uh, something like a hard side. Oh, it's not so hard. Spare tire here, very nice. This is probably one of those that you could take off road almost anywhere. Let's look at this one, the Flyer Explorer. And this one is like a toy hauler. Look at that. It's a toy hauler with a, with a pop-out tent. And let's step inside. It has this, uh, these hooks on the, on the floor where you can hook your toy, <clears throat> the pop-out bed. That's very nice. Storage up there, fantastic vent, air conditioner. And uh, yeah, it's a nice garage, if you will. Stereo. Here we have <clears throat> very important USB ports. Every RV nowadays should have USB ports. You have a 12 volt uh, outlet. So you can have more USB ports and then you have a, a regular power outlet. These are your power switches. This, uh, it's not a fantastic, it's a Max Air. I misspoke, sorry. And uh, walking around, this one I like because it's, it has a, a little more of, of headroom. That's a Rhino Rack Batwing. That will be like, like an awning style kind of thing. And of course you have an outdoor kitchen here. It's the same, same kitchen as the smaller one. This one is just a little, a little taller, just because it is a toy hauler in that sense. You have more storage down here. And that's your... Fresh water, I assume. Actually, that's not really storage. That's where the, where the outdoor kitchen would come in, into the coach. I wonder if that is fresh water or... I would imagine that's either fresh or gray. This doesn't have a black water tank because... Okay, power connection, we have cable and we have this is solar this this will be a, an external solar this is an antenna most likely for like a like a wi-fi booster or something like that i'm curious to see where that goes to huh. where is that that could be a little more research shall go into this Hey, I like the I like your shirts. All right, always always cool to to meet viewers uh, on the road. I like this one. This one, it's uh, <clears throat> you have the rack on top. You know, this is more probably more geared to like towards that active style. Now, this ones they have the huge window here in the front, and this is a proper teardrop. I mean, it's very low clearance. You could probably put this in your garage, and uh, <clears throat> let's let's step inside. I mean. It's small, I see that you would expect, but I love having that big window there because <clears throat> on a rainy day, you know, you could be lounging in here. You have your television set. Do we have, uh, you have air conditioner down there. I mean, it's a, uh, you have almost anything you would want or expect. There's some storage there. Of course, no bathroom, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a teardrop. And uh, you know it's a 
it is what it is. And here you have the rear kitchen. You have your, uh, it's, a, it's a Coleman refrigerator. Actually, no, it's not a refrigerator. This is just a cooler. I suppose you could, I suppose you could add a refrigerator, but this is just uh, a cooler. Nice, uh, nice one at that, but I mean, it's, it's too lightweight to be a, no, it is, a, it, 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 I, I stand corrected. It is a refrigerator. It's very lightweight. I was surprised. Very nice sink, two burner stove there and uh, yeah that's, that doesn't open but yeah a little bit of storage here a little bit of storage there and let me know in the comments what you think of these uh, units because as you know it's I'm, I'm this is not my area of expertise i like to, you know having these hooks here to, to hook like your uh, your spatulas and that sort of thing you have you have two speakers so you can annoy the heck out of your neighbors which is good and uh I like it. These are these seem like very off-road. You have the rack, the roof rack. You have the max air that you can have it on even if uh, if it is raining. It's one of those that 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 uh, that has that rain deflector thingy. So this is the Luna, which by the way means moon in Spanish, of course, and uh, the Sol, which means sun. So we have the sun and the moon. We only need the, only need the stars. All right, this one is more like a, like a travel trailer proper. You have the, that outdoor kitchen here with the domestic refrigerator. You have this, uh, this, this is nice. Um, it's, it's a suburban griddle. Can you imagine making eggs and, and bacon there in the morning? In the morning. And you guys let me know whenever my microphone uh, drops down like that. Let me know because that means that you are not getting the best uh, audio from me. But here we go. This is very nice inside. Let me tell you, I like it. You have that east-west bed there. I mean, it's thirty-five thousand dollars, so it's it for for that price, it it's gotta be nice, right? I like the the blue accents. You know, that's just little things that it, it's more of a of a nice thing to have, not a need. But you know, the uh, the, the 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 clock. It's you know, it's a design design styles. You have you have the it's a the the, the thermostat for the air conditioner and the furnace and the and the max air there right there one next to each other here we have it's it's the regular loud domestic uh, um. oh this is this bathroom is is a wet bath yeah take it with a grain of salt of course but it's huge for a trailer of this size look at this again if you are over six feet tall your mileage may vary but this is very nice and i like the construction of this and the, it's it's very nice you have your dedicated shower here and this is the light you know it's it's pretty you hear that that's a porcelain domestic toilet uh, of course you have a, a two burner Domestic there, that, very nice sink, and then you have this area here where you can lounge and uh, and you don't have to convert it into a bed because you do have a bed. Command control here, you have your water tanks and uh, your water pump, tank heaters, water heater. So you have a tank here. So this is probably a three-season coach. You have tank heaters. Your battery full, fresh water, black water. No gray water. Interesting. More research. Uh, and this is a, a, a this is this a three-way domestic refrigerator? You can run it on, 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 on AC, on propane or DC. Of course, all these refrigerators, when you run them on DC, they're very inefficient. So um, you're not going to be able to run them for a long time on DC. I, I'd be curious to know uh, more about this uh, coach. Uh, so I'm going to, I don't see anybody here from, from, uh, from Intech, but we can always do that research online, like research, like tank sizes and that kind of thing. This is the sole model. And then the Sol model, they have different models too. This is the, the Sol um, Horizon. 
of course, it's, it's all sun related. This is the sun eclipse, the sol eclipse, sol, sol rover. Oh, I forgot to show you, uh, they have, there's storage down here too. And I like that everybody's doing that magnetic thing now on the top, so you don't have to. Uh, that's not a whole lot, that's not very large, but, you know, elbow dip. Yeah, the horizon, I didn't see the, the storage in the horizon, but that's, that's pretty good. That's a regular uh, uh, hot water heater, probably six gallon, but I'm not sure. Let me see the Eclipse here, the Eclipse. It's a little bit different. You have a, oh, I like this. I like the front facing kitchen. So if you are uh, at a campsite and you have a nice view, you can be cooking with the, with the view. I, I really like these types of faucets. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very pretty design. I don't know what's under here, but that's probably, but there's a little bit of storage down here. And in here, you don't have a, 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 an independent bed. You just have the, that U-shaped dinette that you can turn into a bed. And here you have the extra cushion that would go there. So you can do your cushion puzzle and, uh, and convert that into a bed. Very nice, very pretty. Of course, you have a power outlet out there and the 12 volts. I don't see USB. You need to put USB. Same here, fresh and black. And here's the information about this one. It's a $33,000 intake here. Let's do one more. Let's do, I would love to do the Terra, but there's people there, so I'm gonna wait until they finish. And we can pray to her. All right, let's see. All right, this one has a walk around bed in the back. This is very nice. And I like all the, the those blue lighting accents there. Very nice. Check this out. This is, hi. This is the shower, which is very nice. I like that they put this, this uh, pockets here so you can put like your, your, uh, your shampoo and all that stuff. I'm pretty good headroom, as, I, as you know, I'm 5'10". Still have like two inches to spare here. It's very nice the way, uh, and it is hermetically sealed like that with the with that. Uh, and here we have the toilet. It is a ceramic toilet, by the way. Matt would be Matt would approve. And this is a very nice mirror. Look at that huge mirror there. In here, bathroom lights. You know, I, I like all the. I like the, the design styling with all the uh, blue accents and this, it's a tiny, tiny faucet, but it is a, a very nice uh, a hardware there. Yeah, these bungees are very practical. I, I, I wish mm, other manufacturers would put more bungees because that is something that sometimes we have to add ourselves. Here we have a nice towel rack, also something that you sometimes have to add aftermarket. And um, here we have, yeah, these ones you really have to push. <laughs> and let me see what this is. This is uh, the refrigerator and it seems to be, yeah, it is an absorption style refrigerator, it seems to be. It's a 12 volt, it, com it's a 12 it's, it's volt compressor. It's compressor? It's actually a compressor, yes, oh wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, I was looking for the, the, yeah. the, yeah, the, no, the switch. It so it is compressor. Yes, sir. Do, do this come with any uh, type of special, like lithium batteries or anything like that? Or, um, well, or, is, that, or is that an option? Come, you can always get lithium batteries. Um, they would go right in here. Um, mm, okay. And you can get two, two, it's set up for two batteries. You can do lithium, which are about $800 a piece. Yeah, more or less, yeah. 12 to 15 years, they yeah. give you a great charge. Or you can just use a standard coach battery. Yeah. What's great about it is that refrigerator will work 
off the coach batteries, off the your engine or shore. So once you actually start your trip, mm -hmm. you can keep that full and not have to worry about LP gas or LP gas. Yeah, gas. yeah, that, that's okay. I would check. And, out and, that. and these 12 volts, they, they tend to be very efficient. I don't know how many it's amps, the how many efficient. amps they, they consume, but they, they are. Yeah, well, yeah. this is designed with a 30 amp system, so everything in it mm -hmm. is 30 amps or below. Okay. You know? And check out that. That's a convection induction microwave oven. Ooh. So it does, and you can make a turkey in that. that it's the only that's... oven you'll see in an RV. Uh, it's, it's yeah. Where it's the mm -hmm. latest high point, and it's uh, amazing. Yeah. We, we designed the whole kitchen around that. Oven. Yeah, actually. That is that is very nice. I usually get that propane uh, oven. Yeah, that yeah. it's oh. good. It's good for a pizza, but you, you, even the pizza you'll burn it. So exactly, yeah, Robert, uh, definitely. Exactly, Robert. Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I'll let you add it. I'm sorry. I set this up as my often office, office no, for the last three days. No, Where it's okay. It's okay. The floor <laughs> has been walked on for yeah. mm -hmm. four consecutive days. We've probably had 200 or more people a day going through mm -hmm. this and look at it. Also, yeah, that this is like that marine floor that. Well, yeah, it's. it's um, a, you've heard of ironwood. I, th ironwood I think so. Yeah, is, it's a comp It's a it's a plywood mm -hmm. with um, a polymer in it to bond it and over it and makes it almost like a plastic. This is a three quarter inch marine ply with that polymer mm -hmm. over it. Plus it's a four season unit. It is four season. That was my next question yeah, actually. 30, yeah. 39 so, foot tank, uh, a 30, two 39 uh, gallon tanks and 144 or 46. I apologize. I'm that's, not that's, that. that, that, that 20, that's, that's pretty big for a yeah, unit of this size. This is what 26, 20, this is what 26, 26, 56, yeah. 5,600 pounds because of all the aluminum construction yeah, mm -hmm. and the aluminum frame, you know, Aluminum frame makes so much sense. You don't yeah, it's get much, the it's lightweight. Rust. Yeah, it's it's and problems. it's much light, much more yeah. lightweight. And yeah, it's more durable and it's lighter. We have, you compare this to any of our competitors, a twenty-six foot Forest River or Aspen mm -hmm. or Kodiak, you're going to be looking at seven thousand pounds or more. Uh, on, on this, on the, on this size, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, if you have any like, questions, I'm happy yeah. to help. Did, do this does there. convert into a bed as well, I, I'm, as, I'm assuming, and yeah. this bed is huge. Yeah. This bed, I'm six feet five inches tall. Look, mm -hmm. that's another yeah. thing. I'm six five. Yeah. Look. So, you, you, yeah, the, the only trouble you'll have is maybe in the shower. That's well, it. You you, know, you, you, uh, I mean, the reason they put the skylight the in the skylight shower, so you can just, just, yeah, so you stick your head in there. Yeah. yeah. Robert, look. Yeah, because, uh, uh, yeah. Look at this. And that's yeah, actually, can. actually, yeah. So I mean, it's, it's, I, it's, I, I wouldn't call it comfortable, but you can take a shower. Yeah, it's not, it's not like, yeah. And, you yeah. know, they put this mirror in the shower for claustrophobic people. Oh, they do? Yes, yeah. sir. Mm -hmm. um, Intex engineers um, come from the aerospace and the marine fields. Mm -hmm. They're not... They're not mobile home engines. Yeah, no, I see. I see the construction is totally different. I like that uh, that that's watertight uh, construction yes, for the bathroom, so you don't need to be messing with the shower curtain and exactly. that kind of thing. Well, yeah. Here's another. Look, you're an RVer and you understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this bathroom has a ventilation fan, right? Yeah. Notice it has sealed doors. Mm -hmm. it's, it's sealed, just like you had said. Right. Well, I mean, you that have fan is designed to when this is closed to evacuate this in the time it normally takes someone to use the bathroom and wash their hands. Right. So mm. think about it. All of us RVers, somebody uses a bathroom and everybody knows it. And oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? That, mm. So yeah, Robert, this is an amazing unit. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like I'll it. I'll let you go. I do I like apologize. It. No, no, I, I'm, I appreciate that you're here to, to tell me all, the, all these yeah, things because you know, I, sometimes, you know, I just walk around uh, this, oh, these rigs. And uh, and I just uh, you know like I, I didn't know if it was a compressor or a, or an absorption right. refrigerator you know you kind of make it up as you go but yeah this is oh that's so it that's it that's it that's for the oven yeah and that's for the sink for the sink mm -hmm. yeah the cover yeah and no no it is it, but you have the self closing yeah this is it is mm -hmm. everything is very well thought out you have. Uh, Oh, going there. You have, uh, well, you don't have USBs, but you do yes, have a, do. You, you, you have a 12 volt. Is that a 12 no, volt or a USB? USBs in the round, the round thing? The round thing the is round. a USB. Okay. Yes. Okay. I thought oh, it was like a, a yes, yeah, I thought it was like a cigarette lighter adapter. So yeah, that's great. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, okay. Let me get him this. Okay. Let me let me come this way because ah, I don't fit. Oh, oh I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm stuck. I'm sorry. I'm stuck. <laughs> so yeah, so, you can so it, it from there. No, go down further. See further uh, mm -hmm. here. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, it. that's it. Uh huh. And then and it, just, it'll go. Just yeah. Push it. There you go. Now. Oh, your that's water huge. Pump is right there. And in mm -hmm. RV, water pumps are typically the most. Mm -hmm. It's a high breakdown. Uh, yeah, I, I had to replace one already and I had to get in there. Yeah, it's a lot. But yeah, this, this is perfect. Yeah, having access to, to all these things is important. Wow. Um, definitely. This. So, there's your fuse box. Mm -hmm. There's your the main battery, battery disconnect right there. Yes. Exactly. And, and here's the reason. Normally, these things are like on the side of the bed or and all the mm, electronics. Somewhere hidden or in the yeah. storage compartment, and yeah. And what happens? Somebody walks by, bangs it, kicks mm -hmm, it. Yeah. They always end up with broken doors. Mm -hmm. This, and then you have all your monitors right here. So yeah, all nice. the electronics are centrally mm -hmm. located. Um, and right. then to walk in this, all your, mm -hmm. your main power, all your lights are here. Your awning, and then this has that new Thule awning that has two settings for the wind. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I had a question about, uh, first, two questions. Uh, what type of water heater do you have here? It's a, is it a can yeah, tankless or a, or a small tank? No, um, hold on. Let me, um, my Intel tech is here. Let me and I wanted to ask you something else. Yes, sir. On this one, I see a black tank, but, but the, the smaller ones, they don't have a, 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 a gray water tank. It's only a black. Is that a combination? It is. It's a it, like, like what Airstream does as well. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay, yes, sounds sir. good. Okay, here we have storage in the back. It looks like a six gallon, but it it's six gallon, but with what it's it's LP or electric. It uses electric and as well. Okay, it regenerates so fast that you can't you can take a shower and the water regenerates yeah, it, so quickly that there's not it's, yeah, so it's not the, what is it, truly i think they call them the, the truma that's yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's almost like a like yeah, a tankless thing mm -hmm. but it's not a tankless system it has a six gallon tank but it has a high regeneration rate all right well thank you so much for your time my and here's my card thank you and thank uh you. and yeah. this will go on youtube tomorrow most likely great all right have a wonderful you too. day take Riding, riding in